Hello everyone, this is Kevin. Hope everybody's okay today. Before I get into much, I want to let you know the artillery is loud as hell. It's hard to talk over it, and it's a lot of it. And the ending, it just is amazing. I, I, did, I did, didn't expect it to end like that. It, also, I want to say thanks to the Bloodbath Boys. They have a nice server, they always do. You can see on the screen what the map is. I can't pronounce that. I can't pronounce the map name or the Winter War name because I'm not finished and I suck at those type of things. So I don't want to embarrass myself. This mod depicts Finland and Russia fighting between 39 and 40 and it was a brutal, pretty brutal little fight. Uh, the Finns kicked some Russian butt. I think the Russians, uh, I think Finland capitulated at least part of the country. I don't remember exactly because I don't study that part as much. In this game, I am playing a Finn. I'm on the Finnish army and I'm defending. Finns defend in this game pretty much. Uh, I enjoy defending more. I, I don't know why. I'm getting old, I guess. Again, this game is free on Steam. But you have to have Rising Storm to Vietnam to play the mod because they use the game mechanics on Rising Storm 2. It's been a long time since I played this, so until recently. Now that there's a lot of servers now out there, but you have to go to the Rising Storm 2 server browser to find them. And it'll say Winter War on every one of them. And uh, Rising Storm 2 is even very popular again. Every damn server when I try to get on, I can't even get on. It's insane. This is a game is, is you, die, you can die a lot. I mean, especially out here in the, in the snow, you get spotted and picked off so quick and easy. You gotta come up with a strategy just to counter that. Trenches are good. Trenches save lives. I love trenches. I can't see out of them, but I love them. It is damn hard for me to spot the enemy. I mean, I, I can't see very well anyway, but they're hard to spot, and I should be able to be spotted easily. Now, what you do? Oh, God, I gotta be late. They didn't kill him. Though. This is a hardcore game, basically. It'll take one shot to kill, but not in the leg. The games typically have been lasting 12 to 15 minutes. Played on. This one went like 40, 45 or something. Burn, bitch. I can figure out how to avoid artillery is basically to to run the flanks left or right. Extreme flank. That works sometimes. Lost the point. 
no way I get out of here alive. No way. It is enemy tanks out here idly, like right next to me. We defense don't have any tanks as far as I can figure out. So, you know, Molotovs on the top of tanks doesn't really work. Wait, what? Repeat that? Molotovs, Molotovs don't stop the tanks? Work. Fuck! I mollied that tank and he laughed at me and shot me. Well, we're screwed. I thought... Well, shit. Uh, trenches are being artillery. Uh, fuck. Maybe because the engine is covered in a sheet of metal. It might be that, I don't know. But, uh, um, you know, but I might be completely wrong. Molotov is a liquid. And liquids do move around a lot. I see him. I finally see him. I got you fam, I got you baby. We're gonna make it, we're gonna make it. Fuck these Russian pigs. Hey, you 
Tohle je makama. Tuulta munille. Liike tahvat, tuolla. <laughs> Holy shit, she the reaction time on here, man. I fired once and he turned targeted me and killed me before I got sent around by it. Amazing. Now you didn't. I didn't show all the uh, the log houses and some of the stuff that's in this game uh, because the game ran so long. And I needed to cut some stuff out, but there's some detailed, nice stuff, beds and things in these things. The flora and fauna will save your life. The trees, bushes, whatever to conceal you. I find. Helps you survive and make a few kills if you're dependent. You can't really do that too much when you're attacking, but they seem to see me and I don't see them. Maybe because there are trees and bushes and shit. You know, because I'm not always, just very rarely, it seems like I'm defending. That's what I prefer to do.
I saw. This, this is the last objective to defend it is we're in a blockhouse type thing. We have no place to go really. We're gonna stay there. If we can hold the last point we win. And they are pushing hard. It's our final stand. This is the freaking crazy indeed, I think. At least it was for me. There's skis and Molotov. Oh, there's enemy. They're there. Burn them. That was so fun. I died. And uh, no more, uh, there's no more response because there's no more reinforcements. But it got us the game, just uh, holding out like that. I waited as long as I could to get that block out, so I just spawned into it on the last death. I was screaming. Holy shit. Oh, that was good for me. Got the win. The graphics aren't the best, but we held on to the end. It's gonna be because of uh, yeah, we it's, did. It's not that new of graphics, but the gameplay, the, the gunplay and everything is it's just a lot of fun. Exciting. There's some issues, minor technical issues, and it that's fine. I can work around stuff like that. I'm not that picky. So if you feel feel if you have Rising Storm two, pick this thing up, it's free, and add it to your collection and uh, come in and play games with us.